Marvel Universe Iron Man. Yes, for the nth time, we've had we have another Iron Man figure. I don't really mind. I'm a big fan of Iron Man, and it's a repaint. Um, it is from series number five, the last series of the Marvel, officially the, the last series of the Marvel Universe. Fantastic artwork, and it says, um, I don't know, some people say this is the exosphere armor, or, you know. Uh, for those of you who don't recognize this, if, if it looks vague, well, first of all, if it looks vaguely familiar, or... Um, are strikingly familiar. It is a direct repaint of the uh, Bleeding Edge armor or Iron Man. Uh, they just, exact same mold, they just did all that remolding and re repainting. Now, um, it's not the Exosphere Iron Man. This is actually the new Iron Man, the, the last or the... Um, well, it's, it's called the new Iron Man because in the last few issues of the Invincible Iron Man, helmed by uh, Salvador, oh no, Pence, or, or, uh, what am I saying? Matt Fraction and Salvador La Roca wrote, uh, uh, did a comic book called, they the rebooted the Invincible Iron Man to coincide with all three movies of the franchise and they La Roca did a wonderful wonderful job of uh, redesigning the Iron Man and in the last few uh, page last few issues um, Justine and Sasha Hammer mother and daughter were trying to prove to the world that Iron Man was a threat they wanted sole control of the mechs that were sold on the market they wanted to be the new Iron Man uh, they were selling mechs here and there um, and they connived with the government, with the military, to say that, hey, he, we saw him drunk one time piloting the Iron Man, and so um, he needs to be put down. And um, Iron Tony was just didn't want to hear any of it anymore, got tired defending himself, said, okay, fine, I'll get rid of my bleeding edge armor, Iron Man. Um, I'm not going to use it anymore. You don't believe me? Okay, let's go to Reed Richards. And then through the help of Reed Richards, they extracted the bleeding edge Iron Man because Reed Richards was the guy responsible for helping Iron Man put it in him in the first place. So Iron Man no longer has the armor inside of him. I actually thought that was a brilliant idea. He didn't have to suit up. But apparently, suiting up is a lot more cooler than the armor coming out, bleeding out of you. So, Marvel had to get rid of that. So, okay, he's no longer the Iron Man. And then, uh, somehow, somewhere, a new Iron Man comes out. Ta-da! And saves Tony from the bad guys. And everyone's saying, oh, is that the new Iron Man? So, Tony's no longer the Iron Man. Who's that? I mean, I'm done. Apparently, uh, that was all... Uh, part of Tony's grand scheme to really fool to really fool the military and the Sasha mother and daughter team and uh, they actually previously had faked Rhodey's death so that Rhodey could don the new suit the new Iron Man suit so in effect this is not really Tony inside the suit it's really Rhodey um, in my previous reviews of this particular figure I had hoped that uh, they would repaint this and recast it into the slimmed down war machine that looked something like this. It's a slimmed down war machine, silver and black, um, that Tony made for Rhodey. Uh, but instead, we don't. We, we get this one, Rhodey in the Iron Man suit. Uh, it's not so bad. Um, I can live with it. Um, and I'm glad they've reused this model, this particular mold, because I am a big fan of this particular mold. Now, it's Everything about it is the same. It's got the same articulation, ball jointed neck, jointed upper torso, ball hinge shoulders, uh, biceps with double hinge, double hinge, no, just a hinge, elbow, swivel wrist, no waist, um, ball jointed hip, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ball hinge ankles with a rocker joint. So very big, I, I, I'm a very big fan of this, so I'm pretty biased by saying this is a 10 out of 10 figure uh, if you can get one with decent enough pain apps. Um, if you're looking through several, this this has been repacked in Wave 23, 24, um, and possibly even 25. I don't have 25 yet. I do have Omega Red, but I don't have the case. Um, so he's been repacked in, I think, like three cases. So if if your store, your, retail, your local retail store has a lot of Marvel Universe figures, then 
um, you're going to easily, easily spot this guy. It's not going to be a big issue um, finding him. A lot of these guys are on the pegs. And if you're looking through several, make sure the first thing you want to go through is the paint apps on the faceplate. Make sure that the black paint right there that forms like an omega is evenly painted. Most of the time, you'll get this one thick and this one thin. Um, as you can see, but it's very hard to find one that's evenly painted. Make sure the blues, I mean, these uh, Hasbro has been notorious for this electrostatic, um, all spark blue paint that they've really botched up a lot of times. As you can see, it's very unevenly done, but find one that's acceptable enough. The silver paint, no problem. And finally, the arc reactor in the middle. Make sure there's not a lot of overlap going on there and make sure, it, you know, you pick the best one. But other than that, it's a great figure. If you missed out on this figure, it's not a good substitute. I mean, it's if you just need the mold, then fine. But I, I strongly suggest this one is going to be repacked in the Infinite Series uh, Avengers line. So don't, don't worry about that. But this one is not a bad figure to pick up, especially if you're a big fan of Rhodey. And the Iron Man um, armors, the Iron Man storyline in general so a very good figure uh thank you hasbro for doing yet another repaint um and um you know i do hope you reconsider um bringing the old marvel universe back this has been the marvel universe series 5 roadie in the new iron man quote unquote new but sadly this armor was short-lived as well uh iron man marvel universe iron man series 5 uh thanks for watching